Welcome back to Rick's Reflections, where we take a look at the upcoming Sunday Gospel reading and see how it applies to our lives today. Well, it's the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and we have to ask ourselves the question, how forgiving am I? Because that's what this gospel is really all about. And it begins kind of innocuously with Peter asking Jesus, you know, if somebody sins against me, how many times do I have to forgive him? Seven times? And I think Peter was probably thinking, that's a pretty big number, seven times. And Jesus comes back and says, no, 77 times. And he goes on to describe what it's like for those that live with forgiveness and for those that live without forgiveness. And ultimately, what Jesus is telling us is this, that the measure of which we forgive other people from our heart, and that is one of the key phrases, the measure of which we forgive someone else from our heart is the same measure that we will be forgiven. Now, this is important because I think all of us would like to be forgiven. We all make mistakes, every one of us, and we all need forgiveness. But at the same time, if every one of us needs forgiveness, then there has to be someone to forgive, right? It just makes sense. If we need forgiveness, that means there's somebody out there that needs to forgive us, which then conversely means that if other people need forgiveness, they need us to forgive. See, Jesus talks so much about the forgiveness of the Father, which we probably understand and we know. We have the great sacrament of confession. We, of course, have the Eucharist as well, which forgives all those venial sins as we move forward and receive him in good faith and in love. But how forgiving are we towards others? That's a tougher one. If we're honest, if we take an honest assessment about where we're at, we can ask that question, how forgiving am I? And that's the measure of which I will be forgiven. So this week, let us take a look at who we haven't forgiven yet, who we need to forgive. And maybe people who we thought we forgave, but we still kind of hold on to whatever it was that they did or said. I am looking forward to seeing how this week can transform your life and mine. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time on Rick's Reflections.